Okay, this is MXUX. I'm going to try to go through these slides quickly. I've put together an endurance configurator, configurator, whatever uh, the term is. It's a new one for me. Let's get to this. Um, I'm going to call this the Trumbull model. This is uh, one possible consumer model for the Lordstown Endurance pickup truck. Right now, the only thing that we have to go by is the model that's been developed, the Endurance for Fleet customers. For uh, consumers, it can be a whole different, whole different uh, truck. Uh, I'm going to name this model the Trumbull, and uh, this configuration of this truck uses the Jam Jam parts bin, which uh, Lordstown Motors has access to, and um, these parts should be completely compatible. And that's a GM Lordstown is at a GM plant. It's in a supply chain. So there should be no problem implementing this configuration. And uh, I think this is a real realistic uh, possible configuration for a consumer version of the Lordstown Endurance. Okay, the first uh, option we're going to put on the uh, Lordstown Endurance is the uh, GM Magna Ride Magnetic Ride Control. I'm going to tell you, this is a great system. It uses a ferrofluid. It changes the stiffness of the of the shocks depending on what is going on uh, uh, with the vehicle, and it uh, allows the car to stay super flat in in high G turns, or the suspension to go soft when you're going over railroad tracks. If you add this to the thrust vectoring and the traction control and the four wheel drive that's on the Endurance, you got this is like a Formula One car, 600 horsepower. I, I got to tell you, impressive. This is a must-have. Uh, endurance Trumbull option number two uh, is the GM Multi-Pro 6 position tailgate. This is a fan. I think this is better. Ford has a similar tailgate, but this is actually a better design. And uh, one of the cool things about this uh, tailgate is it opens from inside the inside the truck. So if you pull up, Boom, you got to get groceries loaded or something. You push the button, down it goes. Um, you got to watch your own video on this. It's got six different positions. Uh, you can configure it to be a workbench. You can configure it to have a secret, second load level in the truck. There's a step. Uh, there's a handrail. I don't know if you can see it on the left-hand side of the bed there that pops up so that you can climb into the bed easily. And... Um, if you see along the bottom there above that bottom step, you can actually mount marine speakers in this and use it for tailgating or a work site. This is a great option. This is a must have. Uh, the Endurance Trumbull model option number three is the uh, GMC Carbon Pro truck bed. This is another great option. This is not a liner. It's a full bed. It saves 70 pounds over a steel bed, and it's a carbon fiber composite. It doesn't rust. It doesn't dent. Uh, this is better than the Ford aluminum uh, bed, which is kind of soft, and it's better than a steel bed. I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a pickup truck guy. I had an old uh, Ford, uh, what's called a camper special. Love that truck, one ton. Uh, I worked it to death, put railroad ties, everything else in it. The only reason I got rid of it, the truck bed rusted out. So this is also a must-have, and this is a really great, great option. And I don't think any other manufacturer has this. The Endurance Trumbull option number four is the GM Super Cruise Assisted Driving. Now, i got to tell you, everybody's talking about the Tesla full auto driving and it's it's great but I gotta tell you you gotta look at some videos on this Super Cruise the thing about it is with the Tesla you gotta keep your hands on the wheel or you gotta nudge the wheel and this and that with with the Super Cruise you don't have to have your feet on the pedals you don't have to have your hands on the wheel so for example uh, I'm, I'm driving here. I'm going to downtown L.A. I get on the 10 freeway. After I get on, and we're going 50, 70 miles an hour. All of a sudden, it stops. It's stop and go 20 miles an hour for 
you know, a half an hour. Put the Super Cruise on, get my, my uh, McMuffin, get my Starbucks, put my Joe Rogan podcast on. I'm sitting there, I'm eating, drinking my coffee, eating my McMuffin while the car's driving in the traffic jam. This is fantastic. Okay, and uh, and this now they just upgraded it, and they're upgrading it all the time. Uh, it's got lane change, and it doesn't have. A, it, what you do is you just put the turn signal on when you want to make a lane change, and it does everything else. Uh, and then if you want to make another lane change back, you put the turn signal on, and it does everything else. So, this is a really good system. It's underrated. You got to see the videos on it, how it works. They got 250,000 highway miles mapped in the United States. I'll tell you, this truck, the, the Trumbull, the Endurance Trumbull is going to be so much fun to drive. I'm not going to want full self-driving, but I am going to want this Super Cruise for the highway miles stop and go on the 10 or the 405. Anybody that lives in California, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go through the, the Endurance the Trumbull model stats. Now, there's been some, I just saw, you know, there is so much misinformation on this truck and this company. I cannot believe it. And there's some very prominent YouTubers that, that, that work in finance and electric vehicles who are just spreading uh, incorrect information. And they're doubling down on it. Now, I just saw there was an article about saying, well, there wasn't enough towing compa uh, capacity for the endurance. <laughs> it's false. The towing capacity on the endurance is 7,500 pounds. It's the same as the F-150. Um, you can tow a boat with it or a two-axle Airstream uh, trailer. I mean, really, let's be real. What You know, you can get a bigger truck if you want more than that, okay? Um, it's got 600 horsepower, 20-inch wheels, and the range with the present battery configuration is 250 miles. So, I don't know, what, you know, th this to me is, is everything you need. In, in a pickup truck um, let's just go over what the the Trumbull model is going to have uh, the option package it's going to have Magna ride suspension it's going to have torque vectoring it's going to have traction control it's going to have four-wheel uh, drive it's going to have a carbon pro bed it's going to have a multi pro tailgate and it's going to have the super cruise self-driving now I have left the interior as it is I personally like the industrial design, the minimal, minimalist design of the interior of this truck, I wouldn't change a thing on it. That's just me. I mean, you might want, you know, fake leather or whatever the other stuff is, but I really like the cloth seats. I like the way the truck looks. The interior, I think, is fantastic as it is. All right, now let's go into the specs. Now, um, you know, this endurance is listed, and you look on the website and you say the top speed is 80 miles an hour. It's, and, and you say, well, these wheel motors, they can only do 80 miles an hour. I think the maximum RPM on this particular model of wheel motor, don't quote me on this, is 15,000 RPM. Okay? The 80 mile per hour figure is, is a governed figure. They, they have limited the, the speed. They have crippled the speed in this truck for fleet use. Okay? Because they don't want these guys driving these trucks really fast, uh, over 80 miles an hour, when they're using them at work. In private use, you don't have to have that. So I'm going to quote a 0 to 60 time of 3.5 seconds for the Endurance Trumbull. Okay? And I'll tell you what I'm going to base that on. Um, they have the, the same drivetrain that's in the Trumbull. Uh, they put it in a Audi R8. And uh, all they did with this Audi R8 was they took out the uh, internal combustion engine and transmission. Okay? They didn't do it. They didn't put any traction control on it. They didn't use launch control, no torque vectoring, and they didn't optimize it in any other way. Now this R8 with the Trumbull Endurance Endurance Trumbull drivetrain in it did zero to 100 uh, kilometers per hour. Go figure. That's 62.15 miles per hour. Any of you math guys out there, I used to be able to do math. I don't seem to be able to do it anymore. You can figure that out. Anyway, it did 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.54 seconds. I chopped off the fourth, uh, fourth one hundredth of a second or whatever. I'm giving it a 0 to 60 of 3.5 seconds. I think that's realistic with the launch control, 
with the mag with the, the the magnetic ride system with the four-wheel drive with the traction control with the torque vectoring all engaged i think this truck will be able to do that no sweat now let's go through the cost this is i'm going to estimate the cost on this and this is up in the air we really don't know we don't really know what the margins are on this we don't know what the production costs are going to be we don't know how low you know what they're going to be able to do so i'm just going to i'm going to do some back of the cocktail napkin on this right now the fleet model of the endurance is fifty two thousand five hundred if you want to get the latest version of the gm super cruise package and they sell this as a package okay and you know i'm going to say you know let's just say we got all these options rolled into the super cruise package that package presently sells for seven thousand dollars okay so if you want to get uh an endurance and you want to get the uh, gm super cruise package it's going to cost you another seven thousand dollars over the 52k so let's say the Trumbull package is going to cost you $7,000 over the 52K. Your total cost is going to be $59,500. Uh, you subtract the EV credit, it's going to be $52K. All right? That's not bad. So the, the Endurance Trumbull, with all these options, I'm pricing it out at $52K. Uh, and let's compare it to the Cybertruck, because I think these are the two vehicles that are going to be uh, contesting for the first... Uh, electric pickup truck because i gotta tell you the rivian you know they may get a truck i think they're going to be hand building the first trucks that come out of their factory because i do not think they're ready i'm going to do a video on this i've done a lot of research on it i think uh, as uh, galley said that i think they're putting their emphasis on the amazon trucks but anyway i think it's going to be a dead heat it is going to be really close between whether the endurance comes out first or the cyber truck i mean within weeks i'm sure anyway um the endurance uh, the trumbull endurance the Enduro tr endurance trumbull will come out at 52k with the tax credit which you don't get with the ev credit which you no longer get with the cyber truck if you get the cyber truck the comparable cyber truck with four-wheel drive with self-driving uh that's on tesla's website as you know without taxes or anything else and and there are no credits applied at 59.9 which is 60,000. so dig this 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 outfitted trumbull this endurance trumbull with all these options these cool options it's going to be eight thousand dollars less than the cyber truck all right i'm gonna you know i'm gonna stick with that figure i, I know people aren't gonna uh, aren't gonna agree with me but i think they can swing that and um anyway that's my analysis i think everybody's looking at the fleet version of this truck and you got to understand uh, even the ceo steve burns says we're going to cut our teeth on the fleets and then we're going to go to the consumer and i think this is a good idea of what we can get as a uh, consumer package out of this truck you got to understand the fleet truck is stripped down this this is a more reasonable uh consumer package anyway there it is there's the truck. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Endurance Trumbull, coming to you, 52K.